Question 9 and question 8. So I'm first going to just do a quick re revision and then I'm going to speak about question 9 specifically. Question 9 and question 8 will always look sort of similar. Okay? And then you'll know it as is it work in Wifstick or in Pucky. Okay, so the one is on um, cells that goes from chemical energy to electrical energy. Chemical to electrical, and one is on when you go from electrical energy to chemical energy. Right? Who weet jy wat is wanneer? How do you know when do we have what? You have um, chemical to electrical energy if there is a salt bridge. Soutbrug. Okay? And electrical to chemical if you see a cell or uh, anything that gives energy. Okay, good. So the Ian, the one we make cells and the other one we use cells to Cause a chemical change. Okay, good. Now, vraag 8 is gewoonlik daar in en vraag 9 is gewoonlik. Let op my woorde, gewoonlik, normally. Not always, normally like that. Okay. Now, question 8 is where you have a salt bridge, is where you're going to use table 4B. Where you're going to look at that Z that you make. And where you're going to calculate the E cell. Now, on that E cell part, I don't know if ma'am said that, but um, there's three formulas. There's three formulas that you can gebruik. The formulas of your data file must be precise. You are not allowed to abbreviate. You mag not afkort nie. So, say no, but it is E, um, I think it's E cathode. Nee. Ja. So, you can't write it in cat. Nie. Je kan nie net schrijf kan, jy moet schrijf kathode minus e anode. You're not allowed to abbreviate. If you abbreviate, you lose your mark. Okay. Goed, terwijl ons nou bezig is met die gedagtes, wel we busy with that thought process. Um, when we have, um, yeah, when do you have an oxidation half reaction? When what happens with the electrons? As jy die oxidase half reaksie het, wat gebeur met die elektrone? Verloor dit of kry dit? Verloor, want oxidation is oil, oxidation is loss of electrons. So dit is in jou tabel 4B, when you go from the right hand side to the left hand side. So wanneer jy terug beweeg. Ok, dan jou reductie half reaksie, reduction half reaksie is when you obviously gain electrons, when you get electrons in the price, you start to have reduction, it's re, gain, reduction is gain, and this one is from links to rest from the other side. Okay, and now that oxidation is always good, reduction is always good. Okay, so I'm going to subscribe, reduxy, this rig, so reduxy is gain of electrons, of a bykry van elektrone, en dit gaan van links naar rechts, so dat op jou tabel 4B, dan maak het so Z. Okay, as dit nie so Z kan maak nie, then the reaction will not take place spontaneously. Okay, weer eens, my claim is op spontaneously, beteken op hom sy eie, you can force it, you can force it, but then you have to be extra good at it, like if you have warm milk, or you have to be warm milk, or you have to be warm milk, then you will be able to take it. Right, then, here is the one. When we have 
um, a cell or when we go from electrical to chemical energy. As you go to your nose, okay, so if you go to your nose, and some of you um, won't have your notes with you now, so it is in the end of the day. Okay. Good. Then, when it comes to Ghana, then it on zero plus eighteen. I was all for four builders. There were a few examples. Okay. And those are the type of reactions that you can expect. So this by four build decomposition, decomposition where you have a substance and you split up that substance, or where you have electroplating. Or when you have this cell, in this cell, what they have to do in your notes. I can't ask you to ask, they will finally ask you to ask you to ask, on a very weird way. Or when you have something for a Now this is one that they ask quite often actually. For example, 4 is one that they have to ask you to Not this one specifically, so in my example, I have to use copper or feet. Maar hulle sal sê nou maar baie keer gebruik, jy wil een aluminium stafie syver, of jy wil een eister stafie syver, of wat ook al. So it doesn't have to be copper, this is my example, but it can be any type of metal that they want to purify. So iets wat hulle nog als baie gebruik. En dan die laaste, en is ook een specifieke voorbeeld van aluminium. Um, weer eens, the picture does not have to look like this specifically. Okay, hulle kan net praat van hierdie erts, aluminium, uh, trioxide. Hallo Katlego, you are here. Where are you writing Kat? Only tomorrow. Uh. Alright, um, we hulle praat van aluminium, um, trioxide specifiek, but it can be in a different um, structure of wat ook al. Uh, baie belangrik hier die... Um, uh, Catalysator. Okay, this catalyst. Uh, they can ask you the catalyst. They can ask you the name of the formula. Okay, omdat it a moeilijke catalysator is, because it's a difficult catalyst, they, most of the time, 99.99% of the time, they give you a choice. Give the name or formula of the catalyst. Okay, good. I'm going to go to the Sprint is in hierdie voorbeeld en wat in die examen gevraag is. Ok, in die examen, as ons nou daar kyk, ok, excuse, wat ek net hier specifiek wil vir jou neerschrijf, is hierdie is specific um, questions, menende daar voorbeelde, daar vijf voorbeelde wat ek daar het. Hulle kan een van daar voorbeelde vraag, And here you won't necessarily go to table 4B. You so moet jy om uitfigur van die vraag. So 4B kan help. 4B help. Maar jy gaan om self uitfigur. Wat obvious vir lekker is, want dit is die laaste vraag in die vraag stel en jou brein kapasiteit is 0. Nee? No. Okay, right. Hulle moet met fysies ook met vraagstel 2, sikke afdeling sit, jou blokjes geer van wat jy het om jou vraag te doen, sit jy net kan skip en jy net raai hoeveel spaas jy moet oorlossen. Ruben, die probleem kom in in die feit wat jy sê, skip en raai. Daai bevoordring wat jy daai het, maak my sê op my sê nou eers. Ja, ek bedoel, soos wat jy nie kan, jy skip nie daai vraag, want jy weet ook ek en jy, ek sal dan ek terugkom na die is ander punte wat ek kan kry, maar dan weet jy nie, Nee, wat ek bedoel, dan moet jy raai, hoeveel spaas jy nog op loops. Ja, los, altyd twee blaie oor. Hulle moet, hulle moet aan die einde van jou, jy vrou, hulle kom mag nie jou vraag stil aan die einde van jou haar sien. Wat bedoel jy? Dus as jy volgende jaar terug kom skuld, toe my om die tekst uit, kom mag nie jou vraag stil aan die einde van jou haar sien. O, imagine gaan daai admin, al die vraag stil, gaan na een lokaal toe. Nee, dan merk, 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 gaan in syke boks in die soort. En dan, ja, maar dan vir jou van SMS, wat is op punt? Hulle doen, maar ek wil my vraagstel sien, want ek wil hulle iets geskiep het. Ek weet as een hondre hoorde is, mense wat na sien al die tyd. En, ja. Maar ek wil die kans in my antwoord te rechtverder. Ek is so bang, nou skiep ek blaai, en dan steek die jyfra wat merk, is naast, as jy jy sien, en sy maak het nie. Soos met jy, en sy sal nie dit nie. Ek wil my boek vat, waar ek geleerd het, en vir hulle gaan wees, waar my antwoord is nou. 
Um, hulle sal jou altyd the benefit of the doubt gee. Ek word maar sorry, vrouw. Maar jy kan nog steeds, seker nog steeds vrouw met vrouw sal het sien van die bijen. Ek weet nie, dit weet ek nie. Jy vrouw mag nie soos uit jou vrouw stel self blaai uitskeer. Nee, nee, nie, nie. Glad nie. So, I give you this. Okay, in your exam, they say here they chose you the uh, um, electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride. Okay, so the electrolyse, electrolyse, this is the definition that you can learn. This is what the vrouw ook for you. Okay, you must know electrolyse is where you begin with electric energy and you go to a chemical change, or chemical energy, or chemical change, chemical energy, ok, dit is ook die eerste vraag, maar daar is jou clue, ok, so that's your clue, alright, elektrolysis, elektrolyse, ek begin met elektriciteit, dit tel jy hier, jy hebt a direct current source, en dan gaan ek die chemische verandering ondergaan, maar hulle sê vir jou specifiek, die elektrolyse van natriumchloride, en dan moes daar, daar, um, daar moes een licht in jou kop afgegaan het. Dit is een van die voorbeelde wat ek gaan leer het. Ok, they could have also said, um, instead of saying sodium chloride, they could have said the electrolysis of brine, in Engels, Afrikaans, van pekelwater. Ok, if they say the electrolysis of brine, of pekelwater. Daarom is het ook een klok in je kop geluid, want dit is een van die voorbeelden wat jy moet ken. Oké, okay, so gaan gauw terug naar je voorbeeld toe, van na hierdie ene. Okay. goed, so hierdie is, een van die specifieke goed wat jy moet weet, is um, die grootskoolse proces van die elektrolyse van pekelwater of natriumchloride. Oké, okay, right. So ek gaan gauw na hierdie prentje toe gaan. Jy kan hom vinnig oorteken daar in jou notas, because I'm gonna make a lot of um, explanations and drawings on this. So I'll say, redraw this thing in your notes or wherever you're making notes. Is this for the two Nee, this is a three, denk ek. Okay, goed. So, wat hier aangaan, okay, is eindelijk nie so complex nie. Wacht, ek gaan dit net, laat jy dit gauw teken, en ek gaan dit gauw teken. Begin nog nie met balkes, teken net jou blokkie en jou twee stafies. So kom ons kyk net gauw wat ek doen sê. Hier is, en jy kom en jy denk, dit is jou container. Daar is jou houwer. In jou container, you have two electrodes. Twee elektrodes. Okay, obviously we have a positive and a negative electrode. And then again, you know, here in here you have your liquid. You have your um, fluid stuff. Okay, I need to feel unclear, but you get the idea. You have your liquid. What is this liquid that we have? This liquid is sodium chloride. Natrium chloride. Okay. Now they say there. 
en jou vraag en ek saam en vraag ook, sê dit vir jou, dit is natriumchloriet oplossing, solution. What is solution? Oei, hier moet nie jou twee wees nie, as kies julle. Um, wat beteken oplossing? Oplossing beteken dissolved in water. Hierdie is a salt. A salt that is dissolved in water is actually just two ions, twee ione. So wat jy daar basically het, is die natrium ion en jy die kloor ion. So jy het two ions that we are busy pumping in, surrounded by water. Ok, nou, hierdie ding is nie een watermembraan nie, ok, hulle bedoel maar net, hier is water hierin, that means there is water in there, this thing is a membrane, ok, nou, um, wie nie hem nie levens nie, hoe dit is not a glove sciences, ok, goed, so hulle pillow, will you please explain to the class, what is a membrane? A membrane, like in your cells. Yeah, but what does it do? What does a membrane allow? Okay, good. So a membrane, you can amper on your cell as a membrane. Okay, you can think of your your skin as a membrane. It's not, but you can think of it as. Wat like your felt, your skin allows certain things to go in and other things can't go in. Or it allows certain things to go out and other things can't go out. So you can't, your bene of your flesh can't go in here, but it can't go in water. Okay, so you can't go in the same way as a membrane. Here in it, this one here is a membrane. So what you can do in your head is it allows, I can't say a good smoke. Okay, it almost have pores. What's a pore in, in, in Afrikaans? Purea, purea, purea. Okay. So, dus a purea wat sekere goeders deurlaat en ander goeders nie. Ek gaan nou by jou wees. Okay. En dit is, a, as jy daar boe lees, dit is a, okay, so dit is a membraan en dit laat slechts positieve kat-ione deur. So, dit is a kat-ione deurlatings membraan. Ok, so, it's a membrane, and the only thing that can pass through there is positive ions, and why positive ions? Because normally positive ions are quite, sorry, small. Ok, so, hy laat klein positieve goeders deur. Ok, so, dit is belangrijk. Yeah, so it's my fashion icon. Okay. <laughs> so, this is a cut in the membrane. Alright, so it allows positive ions to pass through there. I'm going to what I want to say. I don't want to focus focus I don't want to focus I don't want to focus I don't want to focus Okay. So, what do we have? We have salt water. Is what in your brain can um, drink of? Salt water? No? Salt water. You get a positive and negative thing that you can connect it. Alright, so salt water is actually negative and positive ions. Now we have a positive ring and here is a negative ring. Okay, so what can the positive ring to an get tracked? The negative chlor. So the chlorine ions are going there and you are going to see these bubbles there. And what can the bubbles be? These bubbles are chlor bubbles. Be. Okay, how come? When there's the negative chlorine, the negative chlorine, it's going to go there, and it's going to form chlorine. Good. And then we have a lot of positive ions left over on this side. 
luckily this thing allows positive ions to pass through and it will be attracted to the negative side okay good maar wees so voorzichtig ek nie gesê gaan nader en vorm nie hy gaan net aan die negatieve kant toe aangetrek word okay on this side of the membrane we are pumping in water what is water actually water is the hydroxide ion and the hydrogen ion Okay, right. So we have positive ions that pass through there, blah, 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 because they're attracted to the negative thing. But what they will meet is they will meet the hydroxide. Okay, hoe kom as jy dan kan sterk sere en basis sê en al die goeders en die bind met mekaar, bla bla bla. So hulle twee gaan met mekaar bind and it will form sodium hydroxide. Maar dit is nie waar ons belang sê eindelijk nie, dit is a byproduct, it's good that it's forming, maar dit is nie eindelijk hoe kom ons daar is nie. So that is out because it bonded to that. What do we have left? We have H plus left. Okay, en dan die H plus gaan bind aan die, of nie bind nie, het gaan nie daar wees, and the also gas bubbles will form, en wat is die gas wat daar gaan vorm? Water vol gas. En sien of ek sien of ek uitgeloos op die sal. Goeiemorgen. Hallo, goeiemiddag. Goed om met jou te sê amal. Ek is meel. Okay, right. Die idee wat die aangaan, jy van die idee? Okay, so, eerste ding wat jy moet gaan ontdou vir jouself. You can figure it out, but if you can remember it, in this sodium chloride cell, what our aim is, our aim is that two gases form, chlorine gas and hydrogen gas. Okay, en as natrium hydroxide, a baie saak. Okay, so those are the two gases that form. Then, when it goes from a negative, to normal. So when the oxidation, now the oxidation is going from minus to a null. Is it oxidation or reduction? Oxidation. How come? Because it's electron verloor. So here is the oxidation half reaction. And does that take place at the cathode or at the anode? Anode. How can you do this? All by a clinker. O, A. Both are balls. Nee man, jy moet die goede rond hou. Klinker, klinker, gaan saam. Ok, dan is die, obviously, obviously is die aanhene dan reduksie, kom ons maak net gau seker ons verstaan, hoekom? Want hy gaan van plus na nul. So it means it has to gain an electron. En hy gaan van 1 plus na nul, so ons elektron bij krij, reduksie, waar gebeur reduksie by die katoore? Kan jy sien, meer klinker, meer klinker. Klinker, klinker, meer klinker. Of jy kan denk, wat is die, wat het ons gesê laas jaar? Sê again? Oh, yeah. Yes, I am recording. Um, oh, there was another way that you could have said this. Now I can't, now I can't remember wat was aan die manier. Ok, so, en ach, um, wal, wal, and consonant, consonant. Goes together. Hier hoe ek had. Ek wil nie gesekere maak, ek het dit gesê, dit gesê, dit gesê, dit gesê. Tjap. Ok, is wel enige vraag hieroor, wat ek weer moet verduidelik. Niks nie. Alright, now let's go to the question. In this question, they give us this information. Voordat ek een verder gaan, before I go on and I read the question, I'm quickly going to sort this out for myself. I see sodium chloride, I remember we did something regarding sodium chloride, ok, en hulle sê vir ons, hier so is kloorgas, that's chlorine gas, that forms there, ok, so if it goes from, sorry, nee, ek wil eers hier so, they also tell us that's aqueous, Aqueous betekent opgelost in water. Dissolved in water means there's two ions. So basically I have the sodium ion and the chlorine ion. And aqueous means dissolved in water. So I have water present. Which is actually the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion.
Klar. Ich kann meine Kraut nicht machen. Hm. Und die Welt mir nicht fragen, dann hier drin und dann doch was. Ähm, die Frage hat verschiedene Afrikaans und Engels. So, ich kann sie bündig kriegen. Ja, ich kann sie bündig um, okay, anyway, good. So we have all of that. Down to left my form chlor gas, chlorine gas forms there. Okay, and so that tells me that that will go there. I can soon do. Sharp. So I get, and I just want to check the English question. Oh, I put on that. Chlorine gas. Can't be. Ja, door te wees, ja. Um, wacht, dat ik hem net gesikker maak. Sjap. Oké. Okay. Right. So, we are going to go from chlorine to, ach, from chlorine gas to the, meaning it loses electrons. Nee? En hoe kom gaan hy nou om toe aangetrek wees? Moet hy dan wees positief of negatief? It must be positive, nee? If it is negatief, en hy gaan soon toe aangetrek word, then it means this must be positive. This must be negative. If this goes from chlorine to chlorine zero, chlorine ion to chlorine zero, it means it lost an electron, it gave away an electron, and the electron is here. So, it means the oxidation reaction by the ion. Okay, so we're going to go to the What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chlorine minus, to chlorine null, it means the electron is gone. It gave away, it lost an electron. Oil oxidation is loss. So you need to use the reaction to use it for the anode. Because it is clunker, clunker. How come we are going to get to the anode? If it is negative, then it is positive. Okay, that means this must be the negative um, electrode. And it means that we must have redu reduction here. And this must be the cathode, the cathode. Wacht, Johan, ek is nou nie by jou spekifieke vraag. Sorry. Laat ons net vir die vraag klaar maak. Oké, okay, goed. Enige vraag daar. Anything I must repeat. Die vraag sê gaan weer, ek kan net nie mooi onthou. Wat, 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 wat. Oké. Okay. Nou vraag hulle vir jou, by vraag, um, wat is my vraag onder te boe? By vraag 9.1, definieer die term elektrolyse. So, that is where chemical energy is converted. No, 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 no. Electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. Who must you have it from the picture? How can you derive this from this picture? It's because it started with this direct current of gelijk stroom bron. That tells you that is a battery. It tells you that you start with electricity. You start with energy and then it causes something to happen. Okay. So you begin with electric energy and then you give you chemical energy. Goed, dan vraag 9.2 vir alle vir Wat er elektrode is positief, which elektrode is positief? And we saw that P is positief. Dan vir alle vir jou by 9.3. And here there was a difference in the Afrikaans and the English question paper. I first want to go to the English question paper. Okay? And the Engels vraag stel. In the English question paper ask, what um, right on the half reaction that take place at P. In the Afrikaans in front of you, what's going to be by key? Okay. So, as we first the English take, because that's makkelijk to be Sorry, Afrikaans. Okay, so by P will we know, we have seen there, that it is P, is where the oxidation place find. We saw that it goes from the chlorine ion to chlorine gas. Okay, good. So, I will go soon to go. So, we have seen that it goes from the chlorine ion Na die kloer gas. Oké. Nou, obviously you won't get your full marks for that. If you cannot balance this on your own. Oké, okay, wat heel normaal is, as jy dit nie kan doen nie. Then you go to question 4B to help you. Jy gaan nie eerst na 4B en kyk of jy hoe Z uitwerk en bla 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 nie. Here you use your common sense, you said what happened there? We went, the chlorine gas formed. How does it form? From the chlorine ion that goes there. Now gaan jy na tabel 4b toe. Now you go to table 4b. And you see in table 4b there is a chlorine one. Ek het hom net gevinnig. 
Fenty. Yeah, I guess I could do the bottom of the difference. Okay. So if you look there, I think actually I get the tabel for the year. Parents. I was wrong here. Yeah. Um. This is it. If you see there, you have the chlorine ions. There you have the chlorine gas. So you're gonna write it from right to left. And as we know, it's gonna be around oxidation. It's gonna be all the time. On the right, snel links. Okay. So you see there that we actually do need two chlorine ions, and it gives you chlorine gas molecule and two electrons. But you can always use it to write it on this. It is complicated for the electrochemist. Okay, now let's go find out how can you print the graph. How are you going to get your marks? If you have, like in table 4b, if you have double arrows, you lose a mark. Okay, don't put in double arrows. Or so advice that I specific can, van hier die kant toe, na daar kant toe. If you write it the wrong way around, zero marks. Okay, if you write it with a double arrow, the wrong way around, one mark. Okay, and then as you write it, Say you write it like this, zero marks, or if you almost get up in the pile, get another one, zero marks. So it's very difficult to mark this, so just write it exactly like it is on the table. Okay. And be careful over your pile. Then we're going to get the English clear mark. No, I'm going to go with the Afrikaans. Okay, so this was geweest, the English. At the Afrikaans question paper, and English learners don't stop listening. Continue listening. They ask, what is the half reaction that takes place at Q? Okay, good. Now, here is why you must be it. Here is where you had to know that, all right, it is not the sodium that goes sits there. This is the electrolysis of brine. And what is the two um, um, things that will form? Good, that's what's going to form. We're going to form chlor gas and we're going to form water gas. Okay, you didn't know who were. So it's something that you go study. If they speak about brine or salt water or pickle water, then you know it's chlorine gas that forms and hydrogen gas that forms. Nie hierdie ene wat daan toe gaan en hierdie ene wat daan toe gaan nie. Maar die water gaan nie chlorine gas gaan altyd op die weg, so is op die selle plek. Of is dit ook nie te sê dat dit... Soos links en rechts. Nee, dit hang, hulle kan het anders omstel en hierdie ene nou positief maak. So hulle kan dit doen. Maar soos water... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you had to know that we are going to make hydrogen gas. Okay. En hoe ga je tussen die waterstof gas gemaakt? Oké, okay, how did we produce? How did we make this hydrogen gas? Nou, as jy nou na tabel 4b toe gaan, dan gaan nou toe gaan, tabel 4b, dan sien jy dat daar een paar plekke is waar een waterstof gas is. We have hydrogen gas there. Um, ek wil net hulle allemaal net gevind. Ja, daar is die middels die ene, maar daar is nog ene. Daar is waterstof gas. I feel that I'm not going to be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So there's hydrogen gas there and there's hydrogen gas there. Which one are you going to use? Okay. Let me feel yourself wrong. Where we hit on the beginning. Did we start with a hydrogen ion or did we start with water? On the beginning with water. Where did this one get? Waar dan vir ons water of gas gegeet? Wat het ek vir gesê is a byproduct. What was the byproduct that is formed in this reaction? Ek het sê die twee hoofdproduct is kloor, gas en water of gas. En wat is die byproduct wat gevorm word? Ons het oor natrium en ons het oor hydroxid. Wat vorm? Natrium, hydroxid. Let's look at the table for B. If we start with water, it gives you hydrogen gas and gives you hydroxide. Which can then bond with the sodium. Okay, so die is your reductie half reaction. That was your reduction half reaction. Goed, so who come nie, die ene nie? 
Want jy het nie net met hom begin, jy het ander goeders ook. Jy het begin met water en hy geef jou ander producte ook. Ok. Um, ek kan nou nog iets wil ek gevraag het. Ek gaan nou daarbij kom. So, it gives you hydrogen gas, but it also gives you two hydroxide ions. And you yeah, start with two waters and you gain two electrons. Okay, so that was your oxidation half the No? Oh, that was your yeah. reduction half the Yeah. Okay. Dan vooral vir jou skryf die netto reaksie, right down the net reaction. Ek denk hier so het een kind die punte gekry in jylle examen. Ok, so this is the oxidation of reaction, this is the reduction of reaction. As jylle by mekaar tel, waarvoor moet jy check? What do you check for? What must cancel out? Die elektrone. Daar is twee elektrone, daar is twee elektrone, hulle kan sy leer mooi uit met mekaar. Is there anything else that can cancel out? Not here, not today. Salutatie is wel met die ander hoofdstuk. Alright, any questions there? Ok, daar is een moeilike ene. Um, hoe moes jy geweet het, jy moes hierdie neer, hierdie ene geskryf het, hoe moes jy dit geweet het, hoe, how did, uh, did you have to know that it's not only this one goes there, this one goes there, lekker, lekker, lekker. If you see salt water, salt water, brown pickle water, elektrolyse daarvan, then you can know it will always be this reaction. Ok, altyd, 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 altyd. Um, alright, anything else I must mention there? So as hulle wees is, het vraag in hulle op die halve reaksie by vier of by kie, dan kan ek het net uit my kop uitskryf. Ja. En onthou, the people that set up this question paper is not the same people that set up the question paper at the end of the year. Some of them might overlap. What do I mean with some of them? The whole question paper is not set up by one person. Soos ek krij een vraag, jy krij een vraag, jy krij een vraag, wat ek al wat hoor. So some questions might be the same person, maar het is nie altyd die. So, they might ask this exact same question now at the end of the, the year again. Ok, dit is weet nie. Ok, niks verder by die vraag nie.